This video is part three in a beginner's guide to VBA in Excel. In this video, we're going to cover reading and writing data within our spreadsheet in Excel. This will also include copying and pasting data. So you can see here in this example, we have a small data set of orders. And the first thing we'd like to do is simply add a new order to the next blank row below our data set. So to go into the VBA editor window, I'm going to hit the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. We will rename this module orders, and we'll call this subroutine read and write data. So I know I touched on this in the first video, but I just want to quickly go back and do the very basic things of writing a value to a cell. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new order number to cell A13. So I can hit the keyboard shortcut space and control and look for the range object and within parentheses I can add our cell reference which is A13 and we can select the value property and set that equal to our next order number which is 10012 so I'll F8 through that and that value should appear in A13 and there it is so now in B13, we want to do the same thing. We'll do it a different way using the cells object this time, and that has a number input for the row and a number input for the column. So this time, our row input is going to be 13. Our column input is column 2 because that's column B. So the value property is not absolutely needed so we could just do it without it and just set the cell reference equal to our date value now since we have a date value we need to enclose it in number symbols so I'm gonna use 12 23 2021 we'll F8 through this and we should see a date appear in B13 and it does so finally, we're going to add a client name to C13, and we'll do this the shorthand way. So we have C13, our cell reference enclosed in single brackets, or just, sorry, brackets. And we're going to set that equal to our client name in double quotes because this is text. So I'll F8 through this, and there it is. Easy enough. So now we want to look at copying an existing range and pasting it somewhere else on our worksheet. So we'll input some data here. We'll input our next order in E2 through G2. And now what we want to do with this range here is copy it and paste it down here. So back in our code, what we'll do is reference our range E2 through G2. And we're going to use the copy method. Once I hit space after the copy method, there is a parameter for the destination. So what we can do is type the keyword destination, add a colon, and then an equal sign, and then the range where we want to paste this. 
In this case, it is range A14 through C14. So we'll F8 through this, and when I execute this line of code, we should see the data from this range go to this range. And there it is. Now I'm placing the keyword destination in front of your destination range is not really necessary. You don't have to do it. It does give you a clear picture of what is being done if you you know save this code and come back to it weeks later it is helpful but the code would work as is just like this so if I change this to the next row and ran this we would see it get added just like it did before so it's really just a matter of personal preference, but sometimes it's nice to kind of have labels and descriptions in front of your destination so you know what it's doing if you come back to your code later on. So now I want to show another method of copying and pasting ranges. So I'm going to get rid of this piece of code here and Below this, I'm going to reference our destination range, which is now A16 through C16. And after it, I'm going to look for the paste special method. And once I enter a parentheses after that, you get all kinds of options about what you want to select here. You can paste everything as it is. You can paste the formats, comments, formulas, and number formats. The thing I'm looking for is paste the values and number formats. And you might be asking why would you want to do this? Well, a lot of times you'll find that the data you want to copy may be formulas and you might not want to copy the formulas themselves you want to get the values the outputs of those formulas so this would be ideal in situations like that so we have our source range and then our destination range on this line of code so I'll F8 through this and we get the same result so the last thing I want to look at in this video is copying a range from one worksheet to another worksheet. So you can see here on this second worksheet I have a second set of orders and let's just pretend we want to copy to the next available row on our orders to tab. So we'll copy this same data set and I'm gonna get rid of this line of code here and we'll go back to the original way we did that with the destination and normally we would have to put all of this on one line of code but if you need to drop down to a second line you can hit spacebar and then underscore and enter and that will allow you to continue your code on a new line so we have the keyword destination And then we have our worksheets, and then we're going to reference our sheet name, which is orders2. And then range, I believe it was A8 through C8. double check before we do that yep so we'll F8 through this and what we should see is this data here be copied to orders 2 in row 8 and there it is